Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys a new Let's Play and we are going to be playing some L.A. Noir. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with this game, L.A. Noir is a detective game uh, made by Rockstar which takes place in the 40s of Los Angeles and you're a detective it's basically a sandbox game except you can't go around and buy stuff and do uh you can do side missions though there are side missions to do because there's a a free roam mode um but yeah we are going to be going right through this series probably each episode will be a a uh, case because there are several cases in this scheme there's at least 25 i'd say uh, so we're gonna get a good amount of episodes out of this so and each case is usually pretty long so um, Who knows I might have to cut the episode in two, but um, I don't know But um, I'm looking forward to getting into this. So let's get started Got to check that save data first though. because that's what's most important um, There also is downloadable content. I don't know if I will be doing that but um yeah, this is one of my favorite games. Again, another under... Probably one of the most underrated games by Rockstar. Because you never hear this game talked about that much. But I love it. And it's a good uh, puzzle game. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city. Based not on the man, but on the automobile. The car. A symbol of freedom and vitality. Every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. The city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams. Or Hollywood shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. A city of pioneers. A city of dreamers. century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries. That will stretch as far as the eye can see. Illuminati. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for, and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective and ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. All right. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Oh, wait, we got to put on subtitles um i don't know if there's uh radio maybe not let's make it black and white no i'm just kidding turn the brightness up a bit 
Um, alright, I think we're good. Oh, it's saving. Alright, there we go. Oh, look at that, we're right there. Uh-oh, doesn't look good here. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low light. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got places here. to be. Happy hunting. He's not a very nice guy. This is a fist pump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right. Have it your way. We'll search right up to the back. We gotta look for clues. You still don't come up with anything. Come find me, and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Oh. When, it, when my controller vibrates and it makes that noise. Aha. Uh -huh. A beer bottle. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Look at this junk. Aha, uh -huh, a newspaper. This must be the this must be the weapon. Not my Dr. Fontaine. Could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doc. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands, Chef. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine, he's so far away. It's like he's wandering. You went through a lot together. Yes, Doc. Give me his details, and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Sheldon. And your penance, or your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time. With what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure. For whom he can only smooth the path to death. All right. I'm not sure what that had to do with the crime, but I guess they're just back. Uh, I guess every newspaper is its own story. So, but I doubt we'll be going out of our way to find them. So. Insta heat. Oh. Not my job to pick through other people's trash. Incidental. Incidental. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The door was the crime weapon. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh huh. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm going to see if I can find a way up there. All right. All right. Don't hurt I look for a ladder or a pole. A pole! Guns up on the roof, right? With so we 
no obvious light shining down on it whatsoever. So basically we work our way up through the ranks in this game. So you start out as a cop and then you work your way into being a detective. Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. And then you become different kinds of detectives. You do different cases. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Follow up on this now before the perp tries to leave town. All right. So we found everything. Have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. All right. God. Patience. Initiative, Ralph. Let's see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. All right. Let's go. Let's go investigate the gun store. I'll race you back to the car. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to Up, I win. Such a little boy scout cold. You can't wait to get out of that uniform. Oh. You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? Yes. I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too. Much. Put the siren on. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. If you use the siren, maybe those metal things in front of you called cars will know you're in a hurry. All right, I'm using the siren. Sorry. <sighs> okay, so we have to go investigate the gun store. And I'm assuming we are going to be seeing what, um, who purchased the gun. And see if they know anyone there who... See if anyone's there that knew who bought the gun. To find this young man. He's a bad, bad man. How far away is this? Oh yeah, I gotta show you guys how big this map is. The map in this game is pretty big. As you guys can see. It's a pretty big map. Not gonna lie. Oh, here we go. It's right over here. I think it's over here. Yep. Oh. Oh, we're going to shoot. Can we shoot here? God, they're open this late. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith and Wesson. Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Model 27. Uh, uh, is this it? No. Here it is. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. All right. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Time to give Schroeder a visit. Can we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Oh, wait. You know what I just remembered? I can have him drive. And that makes the trip a lot faster. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll hopefully remember that for next time. Side alley here. I love this game, though. This is a great game. Oh. 
I was hoping I could go through that. There we go. I have played this game before, but I never remember. <laughs> this is, I think, the third time I've played through this game. But I never, ever remember who did the crimes. So, uh, I mean, I'm assuming it is this guy that we're going after. And I'm not, and I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not lying. I actually am not 100% sure if this is the guy, but I'm pretty sure it is. But, um, we'll find out. I know the uh, cop, when you're actually a cop, not a detective. When you're traffic patrol, you, the cases are really short. And then once you become a detective, they get longer. So, but yeah, I mean, some cases I do remember who did it. I obviously will not give it away. Um... But yeah, so we gotta find this guy. Where he's hiding. I don't even remember what happens. I think I remember. Wait, I think I remember, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. So some some cases I have no idea what they are. But. Get your hopes up, guys, because I know there's some nudity in this game. Where am I going? Oh, okay, over here. Come on, run. There we go. Nice jump, man. Is it over here? The door? There it is. Is it just him that lives here? Oh no, there's four. Schroeder, apartment two. Two. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. Oh, okay. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh. Fight. All right. Nope. Mm. You haven't hit me yet. No, oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Oh, is he out yet? Now he is. Oh yeah. You all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Uh huh. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. All right. Uh huh. What do we have here? List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. It's a hit so we list. We come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247. Request. Uh oh, flashback. Sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. 
I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Well, damn. That was a little intense. All right, we are going to end the episode there, and we will continue it with the next case. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace, guys.